Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to configure boards in Jira. To get started, click on Boards drop-down, select the board that you want to configure, and in the right-hand corner, you'll see the board drop-down. So click on that and click on Configure. It will open the configuration page, and you'll see all the configuration options available for that board. We'll go through one by one briefly. So in general configuration, you can change this filter, uh, saved filter and the shares. In the columns, you can add or remove columns. So for example, you want to add more columns to the board. At the moment, there are three to do in progress and done. So you can add more columns or more statuses and then map those statuses to the column. Then you can also add or remove the column constraint. So if you choose none, there will be no column constraint. But if you choose constraint based on the issue count, then it will add minimum and maximum issue count for that particular column. So what that means is, so for example, in to do, you have specified minimum issues as two and maximum as five, right? So if the number of issues in to do column is less than two, then the color of that column will turn to yellow. And if the number of issues exceeds five, then the color of that column will turn to red. And that indicates that th there is a bit of, you know, like overload if the, the number of issues or number of um, issues in that particular status exceeds what you have specified as maximum or the team is underutilized if you have specified minimum number of issues in that column and there are not those many issues in that column right so if you go back to board since i have specified let's specify some number in progress as well and then go back to board and see the color so now here you can see that I have specified minimum as one and maximum as two. And this column here contains three issues. And that is why the color of that column has turned to um, red. Okay. Here, minimum was two and max was five. So as currently it's, you know, like two. So it has not changed. So it's, it's you know, like in the, in the range at the moment and that is why it's uh, it's it's not turned yellow so if i for example if i move this issue here then you can see that now the co color of this column changed to yellow because minimum in that in this particular column should be 2 and it has been uh, reduced to 1 okay Going back to the configuration again. So that's the column constraint setting. Next thing is swim lanes. So you can configure your columns based on the swim lane. So swim lane is just a row and you categorize issue based on certain rows. So for example, you can select assignees as the row and then go back to board and it will um, include all the issues. So it, it will have rows based on the assign, assignee. So whosoever is assigned particular issues, it will have those many rows. So currently three issues are unassigned and then rest are assigned to me. So it's showing swim lanes based on the assignee. Going back to configuration again, uh, you can then change the swim lanes based on epics, projects, stories, etc. Or you can select no swim lanes at all. Then there is an option to do the quick filter. So quick filter is the filter that you see on the board. So you can configure those filters for yourself. So for example, you want to have a filter for all issues assigned to you. Then you just write the query here and say assignee is equal to um, current user and if you want to put some description put that and add if you go back to the board you will see all issues assigned to you if you click on that it will filter all the issues that are currently assigned to you 
okay going back to the configuration again and second conf uh, next configuration is card colors so you can change the colors of the cards that you see so for example currently it's bug is red you can change the color for the for the bug or story or subtask the color type then you can change the card layout so currently all the cards will have priority due date and assignee you can have a maximum of three extra fields to show on the card so if you want to add any other fields apart from these three you can select those based on the uh, your your requirement okay um, next is the estimation so you can have the estimation update so for example your estimation uh, statistics at the moment is story points you can either enable or disable time tracking so you, at the moment time tracking is disabled you can have the time tracking enabled and then the estimation of the time will be calculated automatically based on the time log that has been entered by the um, developer or the members of the team for that particular issues then you can configure the working days as well so what, what working days are there you can select the time zone etc and then you can also configuration uh, configure issue detail view so for example in due in date field you want to add due date you can click on that and it will show you the due date field in the issue detail uh, detail view as well so if you go on um, board as well click on any particular issue you'll see the due field is visible here if you want to remove any field out of this detail view you just directly go to the configure and you can remove the field so i want to don't want updated or created i just remove that go back to board and now in the dates field you just see the due you can it's a date picker picker so you can select the date for that issue all right so going back to the configure uh, configuration again um, so that's pretty much all uh, working days estimation uh, card layout is something very important as well so in card layout you will see due date component priority and in the active sprints what what details you see this is important because if you go to the details of the card you'll see the, the priority due date and whosoever is the assignee uh, listed on the card the reason this is important because you can print these cards directly so based on the the sprint task that you have planned in particular sprint you just add those tasks and then click on the print print cards and it will list all the priority due date and assignee story points the details of the user story you can directly print it and put it on your um, sprint board or the board that you use for your daily stand-ups so you don't have to write these cards anymore you can directly print and use them if you configure your jira uh, properly so that is all um, pretty much about configuring boats in Jira. Thank you.